what's up guys how's everybody doing today i'm doing all right so i hope you are too in this video i'm gonna be reacting to nine british dishes everyone should try so i'm hoping like she put good dishes on here you know that people are very fond of because i'd love to try some of these someday so let's get into the video the original video will be in the description like always and yeah let's check this out hi i'm siobhan and this is anglophilia british food has gotten a bad rap a lot of people call our grub bland boring uninspired overcooked beige boiled revolt a lot of that reputation came about during World War II when the whole country was put under rationing and we had very little variety. By the way, thanks for coming, America. You were a couple of years late, but we won't hold it against you. The reality is that Britain has a great number of tasty, nay, scrumptious dishes. And I want to talk about the best of them and really put to death this idea that Brits don't know their way around the kitchen. Yes, there's more to traditional British food than just fish and chips and mushy Brussels sprouts. And by the way, America, your national cheese is made of orange plastic, so... Oh my gosh, Let's I know. start our culinary <laughs> journey through Britain with Scotch eggs. Scotch it's a classic eggs. picnic item invented during the 18th century as a what? portable food for bread? long carriage rides. It's a hard-boiled egg wrapped in sausage, covered in breadcrumbs, and then deep fried. These precious nuggets, cradled in fat and cholesterol, will in fact kill you. But man, what a way to go! Savory pies. Okay, Americans that actually looks so good. Why have we never made anything like that? What the heck? Ooh. Think of pies as crusty, gooey desserts filled with oversweetened fruit. But did you know that they are just as delectable as savory dishes? And I'm not just talking about the boring like old pot pies that you guys are familiar with. No, from steak and kidney all the way to jellied eel, nobody does savory pies like the Brits. I'm including Cornish pasties in this category because they're basically pies with handles. Delicious, flaky handles. Mm. Bangers and mash. So <clears throat> See, I'm very specific when it comes to, like, breading and, like, doughs and stuff, so that one might be iffy for me because, I don't know. <laughs> I just don't know. I'd probably have to make that myself. Excellent tender sausages with mounds of mashed potatoes and boatloads of oniony gravy. It's one of Britain's best-known dishes, and rightfully so. It's delicious. But do you know why they're called bangers? The name reportedly dates back to World War One and refers to how sausages will often burst or bang in the pan if they are heated too quickly. Curry. Yes, you haven't experienced so. Britain if you haven't had a great curry takeaway. But wait, aren't curries from India, I hear you ask? Now, I know this isn't arguably proper British food, but really, what's the point of invading half of the world if you can't culturally appropriate their best food? It's our culinary Elgin marbles and we're never giving it back. <laughs> Oh, I, I mean, hey. They're kind of like a cross between a pancake and an English muffin, which, an by English the way, we don't have in England. The middle is filled with this honeycomb-like lattice, so when you toast them and then put butter on top, the butter melts into the holes and, like, fills up all of the little gaps. And it's just like... <sighs> that looks exactly like an English Think muffin. butties. Why do Brits call sandwiches butties in the first place? Well, it's just a shortening of bread and butter. Very oh, that's and what we tend to stuff these means? butties with unthinkable things like chips, or as you Yanks would say, French fries. Just cover it in butter, make some ketchup, delicious. But my favorite mm, is no. a bacon butty. It's just bacon on a bun. How Do you can toast you not love the bun, bacon though? in a bun? It's the two best you things in the world the combined into one thing. Sponge puddings. Yeah, Same but... Amount. See, I'm, a, I'm big on my breakfast sandwiches. I like to have a bagel, a really nice toasted bagel, butter on the bagel, egg, cheese, and bacon. Sometimes both sausage and bacon is really good, but my go-to is bacon all the time. <laughs> This jello pudding, America. Now, these stodgy, delicious treats are essentially steamed See, I don't know cakes if I'd like that. golden syrup or jam at the bottom. So, when you flip them over, the golden syrup and jam pours down the sides. They also have the added bonus of having fun names like Spotted Dick. And they're served hot with splashings of custard. Delicious. Scones with jam and clotted cream. And what we call biscuits in the UK, you call cookies in the US. And what you call biscuits, we call scones. Now, if you've scones. ever thought that a scone was disgusting scones and dry, it's because you've been eating them wrong. 
We serve them with jam and clotted cream, which is a very thick cream, I somewhere between bits. heavy whipping cream and butter. Now, there is great Enjoy contention it. between the counties of Devon and Cornwall as to how to construct a scone correctly. Now, in Devon, they say you put the cream on first and then the jam, and then in Cornwall, they are adamant that you put the jam on and then the cream. Don't laugh, wars have been fought over less. Gammon, it's a classic in See, if I have a biscuit or a scone, scone, um, I have to have a lot of butter, like a lot, to the point where it's just like all you taste is butter, or I have to have a crap ton of jelly because I can't stand the biscuit itself. So, yeah. Just, I don't know. Delish pub dish. Gammon steaks are slices of pork leg that are cured like bacon and then grilled, topped with either a fried egg or a slice of pineapple, served with chips and peas because we serve chips and peas with everything. Peas, Thanks for nice. watching. Subscribe for more episodes of Anglophonia and tell us your favorite British foods in the comments. I think my favorite, I mean, I don't know if it'd, it'd be my favorite because I've never tried it, but. Um, I don't know. The bangers and mash look pretty good. I'm I'm a big fan of sausage, so I think I'd like that one. Except for take the gravy off. I hate gravy. I'm not a fan of any kind of gravy. So yeah, if you just take the gravy off that, mm, I'd love it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. You can go ahead and look forward to another video being posted today because that one was kind of short. So, I wanted to do another one as well. Not sure what I'm going to do yet. Still going to look after I'm done editing this one and stuff. So, yeah. I hope you guys have a great day. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. And I'll see you in the next one.